Done. My question, is the Obama administration seeking in any way to weaken or overturn pro-life laws and policies in African and Latin American countries, either directly or through multilateral organizations, including and especially the United Nations, African Union, or the OAS, or by way of funding NGOs like Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. And secondly, and so we can have total transparency. You know, you know, as a former lawmaker, we always have definition pages when we write legislation. Yeah. Definitions do matter. Does the United States definition of the term reproductive health or reproductive services or reproductive rights include abortion? I yield to the distinguished. So we have a very fundamental disagreement. And it is my strongly held view that you are entitled to advocate and everyone who agrees with you should be free to do so anywhere in the world. And so are we. We happen to think that family planning is an important part of women's health. And reproductive health includes access to abortion. So we disagree. And we are now an administration that will protect the rights of women including their rights to reproductive health care. And you went on to say that you will use American foreign policy and your position to further reproductive rights, which includes abortion across the globe. Madam Secretary, I don't believe we should use American foreign policy to export abortion. Again, Madam Secretary, I urge you to please consider a kinder way forward, one that truly cares for the woman and her child and does not consider abortion as an integral component of U.S. diplomatic and international development initiatives. I, I admire you for raising five strong daughters who will be able to make their own choice and most likely, given your guidance, will be very staunchly pro-life. But that is a choice that they will be able to exercise as free, independent American women. That's what I want for all women. Time of the